Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I just want to talk about the total lunar eclipse that we're experiencing tomorrow. The fact that it's a super moon, um, the most powerful super moon that we have this year. And I just want to talk about what this energy means for us and how does it impact us. So over the last few months, I think from the beginning of March till this moment, we've kind of been building up to a certain stage uh, to a certain pathway and the next couple of weeks it's almost like a watershed it's almost as if you can create whatever it is that you wanted to create or what it is that you've been working towards creating now in the past I've talked about how the energy from the beginning of March until now is a great manifestation period and that energy would have helped us to manifest whatever we want to in the next couple of weeks now we have another uh, eclipse coming up, uh, the solar eclipse on the 10th of June. And in this week, in these two weeks, uh, the, the energy that you're going to be experiencing is really very much, um, it can be a bit of a turbulent energy, but it's very, really very much an energy of giving forth, of, t of uh, deliverance. Um, it's almost as if something that you're going through is going to be delivered now. So it might have been that you've embarked upon a new course of study, or it might have been that you've um, uh, taken a new path in your career, or that you have moved house or something like this. And what you're going to find as you come into June and the first and second week of June, uh, going on to the end of June, you're going to find that you're going, you're going to have some kind of idea of where you're going to and how this can pan out for you. So whatever it is, it's almost as if there's been a period of uncertainty from March until now. And as we come through that solar eclipse, which is on the 10th of June, we're gonna have a better idea of where we're going to. So it might be that you have that better idea already next week or in a few days from now, but there's gonna be a lot more certainty and a lot more groundedness as we go ahead. Now, some of the ways in which we may be experiencing this eclipse is that we need to actually release certain habits that we have that may have been debilitating us or, so, or holding us back in, in certain ways. Now, that is true of most eclipses. But in this case, it's really about a habit that's been holding us back from our sole purpose and our primary soul purpose. So think about where is it that you've held yourself back because you've been afraid of something or you've not been able to do what it, what it is um, that you've wanted to because you didn't believe enough in yourself or you weren't able to do what you wanted to do because you didn't have the support that you needed in order to go forth. So maybe you didn't have the support from friends or work colleagues or from people that you study with or it could be actually family so in some people in some situations you're gonna have you're going to be finding that you might be walking away from certain family members or at least walking away from the idea that they have of you so if they have some kind of preconcept of who you are you're going to be challenging that preconcept you're going to be saying to them well no this is not who I am this you know, and you're going to be explaining to them and showing them who you really are and whether they believe you or not is not going to be important to you. So look out for that as far as family situations are concerned. As far as other, um, other scenarios are concerned, this new moon that we have in June is going to be such a huge new beginning uh, where we leave behind whatever we've been working with in the last few months. Um, it might be um, a whole six months that you've been working on something there might be it might be a situation where you've been working on it since the, December last year or January and now you're going to find that as you walk out of this energy as you move forth this energy is going to thrust you forward and what you're headed to is a whole new uh, dimension or a whole new phase of your lives which is going to be quite different from where you were earlier this year so you might also find that there's been great progress that that's been made or a lot of huge changes have taken place in your life if you have to look back at where you were last year in November or December or even January this year you've come a really really long way without actually maybe necessarily taking note of it you're also going to find that you 
are able to start a new uh, phase of your life, as I've just mentioned. But it's almost like it redefines who you are. It re or it adds to who you are. It adds a different dimension to who you are. And you might be able to explore a very different part of your journey, of your life. So for many of you, you might be feeling a very acute ending of a seven year phase of a seven year period. And as you start up again, and this applies for the next two to three months again as well, like so between now and about September, you might be fine, you might see a lot of endings in your life um, within a seven year period, like you might be able to trace back what what did you stop doing seven years ago? And maybe start that up again? Or what did you bring to an end seven years ago um, and how can you work with that again now or what is it that you wanted to do seven years ago but there's been something that pulled you in a different direction and now you're able to start up again with that so I think that it's a very interesting time between now and in September but especially in this next um, two weeks what we're experiencing is a great release a great kind of relief almost it's almost like a huge sigh of relief is going to be put through as we've come as we as we go through this energy the reason for that is because there has been this energy that we've just been facing for the last two years or so has been extremely divisive now let, let me not really two years it's more like 18 months it's a very divisive energy it's a very um and there's of course it's been going on a little bit longer than that as well but more more um you you would have felt more of that in the last 18 months and so this energy that we are uh, we coming out of is it's more unified energy it's more like we like through this eclipse uh that's tomorrow and the one that's coming up in this time period you're going to find there's some kind of unity now it might be unity because the split has already taken place and so you find yourself unified or reunited with certain um, people who have similar belief systems or you might find that uh, you've come to terms with other people who have different belief systems from you or it might be that you just find yourself in a situation where everyone um, or people around you are more supportive of your ideas or more or believe more in what you have to say or resonate more with you and I feel that it's going to be less of a divisive energy and a lot of that's taking place already it's almost like the next click on that it's um you've moved along and you're feeling like you have kind of ended that initial phase of discomfort where you have needed to disagree with people where you've needed to have contrary values to others and you're going to find yourself more and more aligned with people who are similar to you and uh, on the same path as you are there's also a sense of unification happening more globally and this is largely because there's a tide that's turning you know there's there's been a struggle a resistance and now there's this kind of tide that's taking over and it's going to um it's like a set of dominoes you know it has like this kind of effect where it impacts all okay and you might have a bit of resistance towards this at first but it's like it there's a harmony that comes with that and you're going to experience this harmony as we go ahead in the next few months so what else do we need to know well, i think that as far as this energy is concerned it's definitely a portal energy it's definitely an energy where we can choose to work with ourselves as far as uh, healing ourselves is concerned so if you have any nagging symptoms anything that's been hounding us anything that's been working against us uh, or working against oneself now is the time in which you can actually kick that it's a time in which you can kick that habit of uh, smoking or addiction or gambling or something like this it's also a time where you can uh, uh, say to yourself well you know what I believe I can heal I believe I can get better so for those of you who have some kind of illness or uh, some kind of uh, some kind of uh, sickness some kind of a terminal disease you're going to find that this is also a time where it's possible to be able to stop that or reverse it or slow it down and uh it's something that i think is it's a very powerful time you know there's if you can believe in it 
than it can be. So it's an important time to just be able to break through what your beliefs are. It's also, I think I talked a bit about this in the weekly oracle guidance as well this week, because that energy was also prevalent there. There's this message that if you can actually believe in it, you can create it, you can create it. So examine where your what your beliefs are and then just, you know, work from there. Where are you holding yourself back? What is it? Where is it that you need to adjust your beliefs about yourself? Because it's only that that's holding you back. Because we have been in a period now, even though you might have experienced some kind of challenges, some kind of difficulty. Well, that's just life, right? But you would have been in a period now from the beginning of March till now where you would have been able to manifest anything that you desired, anything at all. So it's you who and your limitation on your own beliefs about what is possible and what is not possible that is actually defining your situation at this moment. So look at where it is that you need to still bridge the gap between what you desire inside of you and where you are right now and see if you can use this energy within the next two weeks to be able to work through those fears. Look at those fears head on, work through any resistance that you may have and walk through it walk through it you know like walking through a fire and you come out on the other side renewed and all fresh and awaiting that new energy now you're going to find also that you may begin something right now uh or in in june i would say rather in june uh say around the 14th 15th of june you may begin something that ends around uh december january and uh, at the end of the year or say between October and December rather you know, some for some of you it might also spill over to January and then that's going to be a whole new phase where you can work on something new or something different and make huge progress as far as that's concerned but you're going to find right now that you are bringing something to a close something to an end there's just one other energy that I want to talk about you might find that somebody comes into your life right now that reminds you of something that you need to uh, to do with yourself or to reckon with yourself. You might find that there's something that they bring you. They might come in a form where, you know, you're not, it's not obvious that that's the reason that they've come into your life. But they've come into your life to remind you about something that you need to do for yourself. Okay, so identify that this, you would have come in, this person most likely has come into your life already. If not, they would come into your life within the next week or two. And it's something that they have, they have come to remind you about your sole purpose here. It might involve other people. It might involve other people. It might have benefit to other people and not any necessarily any benefit to you. But there's something here that, um, that there's an energy of people coming in to remind us of our soul contracts and our soul purpose here and to bring us back on track as far as that's concerned maybe you're not you haven't been off track at all but maybe it's just one more thing to remind you about and it's something to look forward to it's not something to be worried about or to be concerned about it's something to look forward to and something way within your capacity this is something that you're very very ready for and you can actually get it underway all right if you choose to and of course it's always about choice it's always about what it is that you actually desire and where is it that you want to go to with your life and it's always your choice okay we are sovereign beings and we have choice so keep that in mind and as you go along don't feel forced to do anything and uh, I wish you all um, a wonderful time ahead a wonderful enjoy this portal that we have here with these eclipses and um yeah look you know you might find a little bit of uh kind of discomfort or um agitation around this energy that's just temporary that'll pass over and just go with it and uh, i hope you're able to make the best out of this energy that we have all right, it's been lovely being here with you and I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're staying healthy and safe and happy and abundant. And I'm wishing you all very well. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.